we have Woodson Martin. Woodson Martin is the executive vice president and general manager of Salesforce IoT. He calls what he's working on the internet of customers rather than the internet of things. He's been in software for 25 years at Salesforce for 14 years. He's the father of two, and uh, he's also lived in Europe, based in San Francisco. He's lived here twice, and today he's going to deliver to you his presentation about customer experience for connected products. Please give a big round of applause for Woodson Martin. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. thank you, Alex. Hello, everyone. Welcome to CBIT, and thank you for joining our talk today. Uh, again, my name is Woodson Martin with Salesforce, and I'm here to talk to you about the future of customer experience for connected products and the Internet of Things. Before I get started, I'll mention briefly, Salesforce is a publicly traded company, and I may talk about the future. If I do, please ignore what I say about the future when you make any purchasing decisions related to Salesforce products or services. Um, we today find ourselves in the middle of the fourth industrial revolution. Like all the previous revolutions, our, the fourth industrial revolution is based on evolution, revolution in technology that is making new things possible. We think about steam as the driver of the first industrial revolution, electricity driving the second, the introduction of computing driving the third, and now intelligence, the artificial intelligence that is possible because of the massive amounts of data now available at our fingertips being generated by our devices, the phones in your pockets, uh, the devices in your cars, in our homes that are increasingly uh, creating more and more and more of the signal that is available about each of us, uh, about our experience with products and services, and these create incredible opportunities for companies who are willing to capitalize on this next uh, fourth industrial revolution. It's happening because our customers are more connected than ever. Our devices are always on, and because uh, these devices are connected, they have a voice. And if we can listen to the voice of these devices, we can learn a lot about the experience of the customers behind those devices. Because behind every connected device is, of course, a customer. Whether that is a consumer device, whether that is a manufactured good, whether that is a complex system being used to manufacture products or transport products, through a logistical system. Behind each of these connected things, behind each of these connected systems is a customer. And if we put ourselves in the mind of thinking about the experience of that customer and we think about what all of this data can tell us about their experience, we can take it to the next level. We can deliver a better service. We can sell more effectively. We can better market our products. We can drive greater adoption of these technologies. And that is really the mission that Salesforce is on in terms of uh, the world of IoT. Our customers tell us that, they, that this is among the top concerns that they are chasing in their organizations today. This fourth industrial revolution, the opportunities provided by intelligence and connected products and services, the changing demands of their customers that come from the expectations generated by the way they live a connected life every day, and then demographic shifts in our workforce, which both create challenges for our organizations as we bring a new generation of working talent into our companies, as we sell to that new generation uh, with our products and services, but also as we have to accommodate and help our uh, older generations of workers and of customers adopt to all these new technologies and change. To do this, digitization is the obvious strategy for companies. We are doing this to meet these new demands from our customers, to attract our, uh, a quality workforce, and of course, to drive these new connected systems. Why are we doing this? What is fundamentally different about the future from the past? Most organizations today 
are product-centric organizations. In many uh, product-centric organizations, in many engineering organizations, in many manufacturing organizations, we're not used to a direct relationship with our customer. This new data that's possible, that's flowing across these new connected devices gives us brand new insight into the users of our products and services, um, but also creates these new opportunities to deliver brand new, more engaging experiences that drive value in our customer relationships over time. We're shifting our businesses from product-centric to customer-centric, and IoT is an enabling technology that makes that possible, but it's also an imperative that makes it necessary. At Salesforce, we're focused on helping customers create these am new, amazing customer experiences, leveraging data from the Internet of Things. But not by making this information available to software developers, but by making it available to the people in your business who manage customer experience today. People who manage customer service or marketing campaigns or your selling organization where you're out engaging with customers in the first place. We've integrated capabilities to ingest data and signal from the Internet of Things and tie that tightly to business processes customers manage in CRM around sales, service, and marketing and drive proactive customer engagement to ensure that in every touch point where you or your customers interact with your product or your brand or your company or your services or your distribution partners, you're taking maximum advantage of this new 360 degree view of that customer relationship enabled by the data from connected devices. IoT though is an ecosystem. There's no one player, there's no one technology provider that can make, that can close the loop between your devices and your customer experience. It takes an ecosystem. At Salesforce, we partner with leading uh, software platform, uh, internet IoT platform companies. You can think of industrial players like Siemens and Bosch, uh, players like AWS, Microsoft, Google Cloud Platform, who are building the technology platforms to connecting devices, provisioning services, managing those devices, uh, and then tying Salesforce makes it easy to tie those systems into your CRM applications using our IoT services. 90% of artificial intelligence applied to the world of IoT today has been applied to the problem of anomaly detection. Trying to identify potential failures in equipment before they happen, trying to identify opportunities uh, in to improve a customer experience, but 80% of the business value in IoT comes not just from identifying that there is a potential problem, but from optimizing your response to that problem. Let's take a classic example of a complex machine. Let's say a turbine. Let's say we have an artificial intelligence that has been trained on data from that turbine and others like it that is able to predict that the likelihood of, that of a part on that machine failing in the next 60 days is 80%. What should we do about this problem we've identified? Should we immediately dispatch a field service agent to repair the problem before the customer experiences downtime? Should we wait and let the customer call us? How do we know the right response? Do we need to alert a distributor or a third party who's responsible for maintenance? In order to make the right decisions about what to do about this detected anomaly, we need the full context of our customer relationship to evaluate that decision. What does the service level agreement say about who's responsible for the maintenance? When was the last maintenance conducted? Who conducted that maintenance? Was it successful or unsuccessful? What spare parts are in inventory? Who has the skills and is available in the location where the service needs to take place? To make these decisions, we need to understand the full context of the customer relationship so that we can prioritize the work, schedule the right resources, schedule the right inventory, and drive the right outcome for a customer.
In order to do this, we need, of course, to process the signal from the devices, but we also need to deliver an experience for the customer service agents who are interacting with those customers to alert them, to help them, uh, to assist them in solving problems on their own, or to head out into the field and deliver that service, make repairs, deliver spare parts, uh, et cetera. All of this in the interest of delivering a better, more satisfying customer experience that we can then use to monetize and differentiate our products and services in the marketplace. It's why we're excited about new innovations in our service that make it easy for service agents or field service agents to monitor device data, to monitor the shadow of a connected device from anywhere, on a mobile phone, in the call center, to be able to deliver a better service, a more relevant service, a faster service to resolve customer issues. How are leading companies then using these technologies to deliver a better customer experience today? Well, there are really three fundamental areas where that's happening. The first is in what we call intelligent customer service models. How do I unlock the ability to deliver a proactive service, an intelligent service for my customers? I think about companies like Jacuzzi, who manufactures, one of the leading manufacturers of hot tubs and spas, and who has new connected hot tubs where they have sensors. They have sensors that understand the temperature of the tubs, they understand the chemical composition of the water, they understand the flow rate and the pumps. They're able to use this data to determine many things. Is the equipment operating properly? Is there need for service? Is the customer consuming all of the supplies they've purchased in the form of chlorine, in the form of other chemicals used to balance the pH in the water? And they can use this data to deliver proactive service through a third-party distribution and service network, providing leads to their supplier, to the, these distributors, uh, to alert customers of problems and recommend local suppliers who can help solve those issues, creating a new intelligent customer service model by monitoring the device data associated with these uh, tubs and spas. Then we also see customers who are using the data they're collecting through these connected devices. They may be delivering a proactive service. Perhaps the proactive service is what uh, incentivizes the customers to share data from their connected devices in the first place. But then they can optimize other parts of their business. They can optimize their sales machine by using the same data to find new opportunities. I think about customers like Hive, the smart home division of Centrica, British Gas, who sell connected thermostats. And now a whole host of smart home products from uh, light switches to video cameras and doorbells. And their challenge is to grow their installed base, to take purchasers of the connected thermostat and use data they're able to collect about usage patterns and the households in order to drive sales of other connected products that work together in an ecosystem to deliver a better customer experience. They're able to use this data to drive marketing campaigns and cross-sell and upsell into their existing installed base. And these are examples of ways that people are driving forward with customer experience on, these, on the basis of this connected product data. And then let's talk about Transmediterranea, who is the operator of many of the ferries that commute across uh, the Mediterranean Sea from Spain to North Africa and other Southern European countries. They monitor the data off these ferries in order to deliver a proactive customer experience for ferry passengers, automatically alerting passengers when ferries are late, or uh, advising them of uh, itinerary changes for their journey, and using this data that's coming through to help optimize the routes of the ferries to balance 
uh, the traffic, the number of vehicles they can onboard into these ferries, and using this to drive a better customer experience for the ferry passengers, but also using it to optimize the operations of the ferry company overall. You can see through these examples a number of cases where customers are able to, companies are able to optimize the experience of their end customers by taking advantage of the data flowing in from these connected devices and marrying it up with processes they're managing in their CRM services. We are certainly excited to tell you more uh, about these use cases and come see other examples where customers are tying together their customer experience with the Internet of Things, adapting their business model for the Internet of Customers at our uh, exhibits today here in Hall 9 at CBIT. And we hope that you will join us to come out and learn more about those examples. Thank you very much for joining us today for this presentation and uh, enjoy the rest of your time here at CBIT. Thank you very much. There he is. Hey, Alex. Hi. <laughs> sorry, I was just. Yeah. Uh, oops, sorry. No problem. I was just preparing. We're um, we're doing the schedule right now, yeah. and uh, I was preparing the next speaker. Yeah. And uh, heard you finished. So now we're ready. I believe. You're ready for, to go. Okay. For Very a few good. questions. If, okay. If that's I'd okay. love to take a question. Uh, are there any audience questions right now? Don't be shy. Anything that you want to know? Do you see a hand? I see I, a hand. Oh, yeah. A shy hand over there? No, maybe no? he was stretching. Maybe. Scratching. Because um, customer experience is kind of all in, like, over uh, in every organization, really. Um, how do you make it less of a buzzword and more of an action? Yeah, sure. I think that's one of the challenges that a lot of companies have faced when they think about the potential of IoT, is really saying, what are the real use cases that make a difference in my business and to my customers that I can, uh, that I can invent using the potential of all these connected devices and their data? And so for us, that conversation begins uh, with each customer by first understanding the businesses that they're operating in, understanding their customer experience. So when you think about Trans Mediterranean, we talked about earlier today, that process begins by just being a ferry passenger, taking the trip, experiencing what it's like without uh, this enhanced experience to travel as a passenger and then to begin to help uh, our customers imagine what a better customer experience looks like. And so oftentimes, uh, the process of engaging with customers for us starts with experiencing that customer uh, experience firsthand. Thank you. So if there's no more questions from the audience, I want to thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much, Alex. Us. Thank you. It's been a real pleasure. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Come see us in Hall 9.